Six six. Ha 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 ha. Six six. Miss mix mixed expressions. <laughs> Objective. To write mixed expressions as fractions in simplest form. All right. Here we go. Observation. We're going to make an observation here about mixed expressions. What are mixed expressions? Well, you know what mixed numbers are, boy. If you know what mixed numbers are, then you know what mixed expressions are. Let's make an observation. I have a mixed number, four and a half. I want to make this four and a half in, in uh, what is called an improper fraction. Basically, I want to write this as a fraction. So I say, all right, four and a half is the same thing as four over one plus one half. Isn't that, isn't this the same thing as four plus one half? Yes. Well, I've got four over one there and I want to add it to one half. Well, we've got to find the LCD, um, which would be one, between one and two would just be two. So I multiply this guy by two over two. Two times one will give me, change this fraction to, will change the look of it, not the value. Eight halves plus one half, nice. Nine halves, I did it. Shoop. Now a lot of you guys go, oh, I just do uh, two times four is eight plus one is nine over two. Well, remember what you're doing. When you do that two times four, that eight you get. Two times four is eight. That eight you get is actually eight halves. It's eight of these parts, eight halves. So here if you did uh, two times five is ten, that ten is ten-fifths. Because two is the same thing as ten-fifths. Notice. Two and three-fifths is the same thing as two plus three-fifths, which is the same thing as two holes plus three-fifths. The LCD obviously is five, so I'm going to multiply this guy by five-fifths, which is one, right? Not changing its value. Two times five is multiplication here. We're having, having fun. Ten. Five times one, five. So I didn't change this. This is still two. This is still the number two. Still two holes. Ten-fifths is the same thing as two. Well, I've got ten-fifths plus three-fifths. I'm doing booty here. Keep that boot here. How many fifths do I have in all? Thirteen-fifths. We will do the same with mixed expressions. So now we're doing like, mixed expressions are just like mixed algebraic numbers things. Expressions. That's what an expression is. It's an algebraic number, right? So, a mixed expression is the sum or difference of a polynomial and a fraction. So let's look at this guy. 5 and 2 thirds. I write it as 5 over 1 plus 2 over 3. Well, this is just like 5 and 2 thirds, okay? Um, but it's a little different. It's 5 and this guy over this guy, x plus 2 over x minus 3. Um, let's see. I'm going to rewrite this, I guess, as 5 over 1 plus x plus 2 over x minus 3. And I'm saying, all right, what's the LCD? Let's go back over to the left. What would I do here? Well, the LCD is going to be 3. Because 1 and 3 both go into 3. So I'm going to multiply this one by 3 over 3. I'm going to have these two new fractions. Well, not new fractions, but a new appearance of this guy. It's going to look like 15 over 3 plus 2 over 3. Now I can add the numerators. 15 plus 2, because they both have the same booty. 17 over 3. Well, I'm going to do the same thing here. What's the LCD? 1 and x, over x minus 3? Well, x minus 3. So I'm going to multiply this by x minus 3 x minus 3. Remember this number I'm multiplying this fraction by is 1. That's just 1. Any number times 1 is still itself. This is 1. 5 over 1 times 1 is still 5 over 1. This number is still 5 over 1. Just like when I do this, multiply, I get x minus 3 in the bottom. 1 times x minus 3. This guy is just coming down. What's 5 times x minus 3? Well, it's 5 times x, 5 times negative 3, I get 5x minus 15. And then what can we do? Well, we're just adding now, right? Just like here, I had this many thirds and this many thirds, I ended up with 17. I found the sum, put it over that denominator. Here I'm going to find the sum of this and this and put it over the new denominator, x minus 3. So I'm going to add 5x, ply, my, 5x negative 15, positive x, and positive 2. Well, 5x and x is 6x. Negative 15 and 2 is negative 13. I look again, is this factorable here? No, I've got a prime. Can't factor anything there, so I'm done. It's reduced. Let's try another one. Mixed expression. Here we go. This is like two and like two and a half, or two and three fifths, right? Two and a half is the same thing as two over one plus this and a half. So I'm just gonna put this, I'm gonna look at the denominators. What's common? 
um, they both go into 3n plus 2. So that'll be my new denominator. So I multiply this guy by 3n plus 2 over 3n plus 2, which is the number 1. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by 1. And I end up with 2 times 3n is 6n. 2 times 3n, 2 times 2 is 4. Over 1 times this guy is just 3n plus 2. Nice! Now I have um, two fractions with the same booty. Adding and subtracting is booty! I've got the same booty, so what do I do? I just add them. 3n plus 2, 6n plus 4, plus 3, and I add the numerators, right? Well, 6n and 3n is 9n plus 4. I could write it as 6n plus 4 plus 3 and then combine the like terms, but I'm going to look, I'm looking ahead. I'm looking ahead a little bit. All right, now here's another one. Remember what a mixed expression is. A mixed expression is the sum or difference of a polynomial and a fraction. Well, look at here. I have a, the difference of this polynomial, a minus 1, and this fraction. So it's basically, I can say, well, this is a over 1, this is 1 over 1, this is that over a plus 2. What's my, well, I can say this whole thing is a minus 1 over 1. That's the other way I can do it, right? Couldn't I? Isn't a minus 1 the same thing as a minus 1 all over 1? Ooh, yeah. Um, either way, whatever. Okay, so what's the new denominator? How about a plus 2? Huh? Does 1 go into a plus 2? Sure. Does 1 go into a plus 2? Sure. So we multiply these guys by a plus 2 over a plus 2. When I, and I'm, I'm just going to make this guy over 1 just for, you know, what? We're going to be in the same answer anyway. So when I multiply this times this, I get a squared. Can we do this in our heads? Yes, because notice the middle term. I have 2a and negative a plus a minus 2 all over a plus 2 minus a squared plus a minus 5 all over a plus 2. Now, remember here, I'm, now I'm subtracting these guys. I'm doing this minus this whole thing. I'm subtracting all of this stuff all over a plus 2. So my new denominator, the, the denominator of my answer is going to be, sorry, a plus 2. And let's do a squared minus a squared is 0. A minus A is 0. Negative 2 minus a negative 5 minus a negative 5 is plus 5, so negative 2 and 5 are 3. So 3 over A plus 2. All right, cool. Let's do another one. So we're just pretty much like adding fractions again, isn't it? You know? All right, so 2 over 1. So my new denominator is going to be, oh, look at this. I need an X plus 3 and an X minus 3. So it's going to be x plus 3x minus 3 times x minus 3. That's what I'm going to get everything over. So how many times does 1 go into this? Well, I'm going to have to multiply 2 times both of these guys. What is x plus 3 times x minus 3? Quickly, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me up. Yes, x squared minus 9. So multiply this guy by x squared minus 9, this guy squared minus 9. Therefore, I'm multiplying this fraction by 1. I end up with 2x squared minus 18, all over x squared minus 9. Now, when I, when I look here and I say, here's this has the x minus 3 part, I need to multiply x minus 3 times x plus 3 to get this, which is going to be my new denominator. So I multiply by x plus 3, x plus 3, end up with, so is that a minus? Yeah, minus x squared plus 3x, all over x plus 3 times x minus 3, which is x squared minus 9. Minus, and I say this x plus 3, I, need to, I want to have x squared minus 9 in the bottom, so I need to multiply by x minus 3. This number, which is 1, I end up with x minus 3 all over x squared minus 9. So now I have this deal here, right? I'm, all, I'm almost done. I've got to get to the next problem. All right, so I'm going to do this thing. Uh, I'm subtracting this stuff, so let's switch these signs. Subtracting this up, let's switch these signs. Let's combine like terms. 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. Negative 18 and 3 is uh, negative 15. Negative 3x and negative x is negative 4x. All over x squared minus 9. Fact, see if you can factor this guy. Uh, 15, 4, they have a distance of, difference of 4. No, 5, 3 won't, so I'm done. Alright, now I have 10 seconds to do this problem. And I'm not going to be able to get to it, so I'm going to do a quick little clip of this problem in a second.